Today I'm going to be giving you the full start to finish process of how I redid my website using Pixie Set. If you're unfamiliar with Pixie Set, it's kind of an all-in-one platform where you can deliver your client gallery, sell prints and wall art, take your invoices, sign contracts, everything all in one spot. Over the last few months, Pixie Set has been making tons of updates and changes to their platform and helping photographers grow in every single way. I know a lot of other photographers, they've been using HoneyBook, um, Sprout Studio, Squarespace. These are just some of the ones that I personally know photographers that use in their day-to-day -day workflow. A lot of these other brands and platforms, they do have a few more customization abilities and I feel like that's why a lot of people switch over to them. But I found a way to make Pixie Set custom fit to my brand and I'm going to show you how I did that. So first things first, if you don't have Pixie Set, you're going to want to sign up for the free trial and get started building your website. If you decide you like it, I do have a coupon code for $20 off your first bill and I'll put it in the description. After you sign up for your free trial, you'll open up your dashboard and then click edit website. This is my website here. I love it. I feel like it turned out really well and I had a lot of people asking me how I made it so customizable and fit to my brand. We're gonna go over here to settings and you're gonna hit draft sites. Um, we're gonna start a new one here. You can browse through all these templates. They just recently added a bunch of new templates, new fonts, layouts, designs. I believe mine is Jennifer. We're just gonna go with one of these newer ones. Select that there. Create a draft site is so that when you're working on your new website, your old website is still live and clients can still access it. Go through it, book through it. You're not missing out on any potential clients while working on a new website. <laughs> So now that we have our draft up, we're gonna go over here to this design tab. Here you'll be able to put in your logo, type something like this. It'll change this logo up here at the top. And I had a lot of people asking me how I didn't have Pixie Set on my website or in my URL or anything. You wanna start by turning off your Pixie Set badge. Some plans have this, some plans don't. I have the suite that allows me to turn off my Pixie Set branding, which is very nice. It makes it feel more professional. I'll get into how you add a domain to your website later in the video. So from here, you're gonna go over to fonts. If you like the font that came with your template, feel free to use that, but you can go through all of these fonts, click one that you feel fits your brand. We're just gonna go down here and we're gonna click one. You can change the size. You can change them by paragraph, all that good stuff. So next, we're gonna go over to colors. There's a ton of options here. These are all standard Pixie Set color palettes. What I did is I created mine in Canva and then I went and copied the hex codes of each color and created my own custom color scheme. I'm gonna click this one here just because I think it's fun. It's bright, it's colorful. Go down here, customize your buttons. This is just a fun little thing. Rounded buttons, somewhat rounded, square. You can do outlines, you can do underlines. There's a ton of options to make it fit to you and then look at your goal. Same thing goes for arrows, you can customize those. You're gonna wanna go into either a Google Doc, good old fashioned notebook, and you're gonna wanna create an outline, lays the foundation for how your website is gonna be navigated. So if you look at this one here, this is kind of a rough outline of how I decided I wanted my website to be laid out. I didn't want a bunch of tabs or panels that people had to click through. So I made four main ones with a lot of drop down menus. I kind of like, I did a thorough plan on a piece of paper. I'm a very visual person. So I like having everything written down in front of me. If you want to do it via Google doc or whatever works for you, just create an outline of some sort. My homepage, obviously, which is going to be the landing page for when you click and open my website, have short snippets of what's to come for the rest of your website. It helps clients stay attached to your website, and not click off of it. Um, so I did do like an intro, my featured work, my contact. One thing you do wanna make sure is that you have a contact or inquiry button on every single page, just so when a client's scrolling through, they don't get lost. The biggest question I got while designing my website was how did I add the little doodles? I'm gonna give you a brief tutorial of how I did that in this video. I have a full video explaining in depth how I created these doodles and imported them to my computer to be used as a file on my channel. If you're a little more tech savvy and you have access to the full Adobe suite, you can use Adobe Illustrator to create these doodles and put them onto your website. I started by drawing a little picture that I wanted a doodle of and I airdropped it to my computer drag and drop into Illustrator to highlight it. And then over here, click image trace. You're gonna get all these 
um, options, whatever works best for your drawing. So once you have this whole image here, you're gonna hit expand, hit group. This will let you go around and delete everything. It's not perfect. I did most of my drawings on my iPad, so they were a little cleaner than I did with the pencil. I'm gonna highlight it again, go to collect for export as single asset, PNG, export, and then you have an image that is usable across all platforms. Do this if you don't have access to Illustrator is that you can use Canva. Um, the only thing about Canva is that if you want to download it as a PNG, then you need Canva Pro. You can also Google PNG images with transparent backgrounds, but just make sure you have rights for these from stock websites or something like that so that you can legally use them on your website. I did a few different fonts on my iPad as well. You can do that through Procreate. You can download those as a PNG with a transparent background. Tons of different ways that you can do that and create these images. I'm gonna show you how I added the doodles throughout my website. Um, I did this on my iPad and through Illustrator and made it way more complicated than I needed to make it, but I'm gonna show you how to do it here on Canva if you do have Canva Pro. This is super easy, very user-friendly. We're gonna start with a blank document. I believe this one is 2240 by 1260. You wanna make sure they are big or else your images are gonna be really small when you export them and it's gonna be really difficult to fix on Pixie Set. We're gonna go over to Elements and we're gonna search something that we wanna put on our website. Click on these here, you find an image that you like. Once you have your image that you like, you're going to go over to the share button and you're going to hit download. You want your image to be a PNG, you want to select the page that you want to download, and you want to turn on your transparent background. Now unfortunately the transparent background is only a feature of Canva Pro, so if you don't have Canva Pro you won't be able to do this. We're going to hit download there, it's going to download our piece right here. We're going to go back to our website, create a new flex block, you're going to hit add elements, edit image, my computer on your download and now you have an image with a transparent background. Another thing I forgot to mention a lot of people that were asking me is that yes you can use Flexbox and extend your image to the side or outside of the boundaries. A lot of people don't know that. It's not something that they really advertise in their website designing process. You can do the same thing with text. You can have this on the side here. It really just helps to fill up your screen, make your page look more immersive. Make sure you check all different forms of your website because something like this could happen where it's just gonna look a little off. Definitely with the images because you have to be so careful with cropping everything. Check your website across all different platforms. You can put text over these images. Fully use these as you would a normal picture throughout your website.